Well, good morning to you this uh, Friday morning to our uh, daily devotional. Uh, it's good to have you with us, and uh, I hope you are well. Uh, today we want to uh, just give you a proverb from chapter 10 of the book of Proverbs. And uh, this is what uh, Solomon says, The wise of heart will receive commandments, but a babbling fool will come to ruin. The wise of heart <clears throat> will receive commandments. I think it's a condition of our heart that will determine what the outcome of this daily devotional will be for us. I want to reverse the order today. I want to uh, prepare our hearts by listening to a beautiful song that's brought to us by the uh, worship group from Biddeford. And after that, we will listen to uh, the Word of God and meditation from Matt Wilcox, one of our elders, who's based in our Torrington congregation. So... Let's listen and prepare our hearts to receive God's word as uh, the worship leaders lead us. Here's my heart, Lord. Here's my heart, Lord. Here's my I am found, and I am yours, and I am loved, I'm made pure, and I have life, and I can breathe, and I am healed, I am free. Here's my I am found, I am yours, and I am lost, I am made pure, and I have life, and I can breathe, and I am healed, and I am free, cause you
Morning, and here's your thought for the day. Um, so we've been working through the uh, Beatitudes, the blessings from Matthew 5. Uh, today we're on Matthew 5, verse 6. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. The world knows what it is to hunger and thirst. And yet it doesn't know what it is to be satisfied. And if you look at our culture now, everything is about uh, instantaneous gratification. Uh, it's quick hits of everything, whether it's junk food uh, or junk media by uh, browsing through Facebook. Everything is about instant satisfaction and not waiting uh, or dealing with hunger properly. That's not new. Throughout history, that's been the way that the world has dealt with uh, with our, our bodily needs, is to seek satisfaction immediately. And Jesus knew that, and very uh, carefully, he was, point, he was quick to point out here in the Beatitudes that the kingdom of God is not about hunger and thirst for material things, but about a hunger and thirst for righteousness. Isaiah 55, 1-3 says this, Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Yes, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend money for what is not bread, and your wages for what does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me and eat what is good, and let your soul delight in abundance. Incline your ear and come to me. God doesn't require our funds. He requires us to come, to come to him. In uh, the book of John, verse 6, 33, 35, it says this. For the bread of God is that which comes down out of heaven and gives life to the world. Then they said to him, Lord, always give us this bread. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will not hunger, and he who believes in me will never thirst. We remember the story of the Samaritan woman that Jesus met at the well. And Jesus uh, taught her about this water supply that would never run out. And of course, she spent her day going backwards and forwards in the heat of the day, carrying these heavy water bo bottles. And so the, the thought of a source of water that would never run out would be instantly uh, um, exciting to her. And he pointed out that he is the water that never runs out. He is the supply that never runs out, that never seeks us to give. And that is our call today, to come to Jesus, to thirst for more of God in our lives, for his righteousness in us. John seven thirty seven says this, On the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink, he who believes in me. As the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow river, rivers of living water. But this he spoke concerning the Spirit, whom those believing in him would receive. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. The reality is you can have that water of life today, flowing into you and out of you in the Holy Spirit, both to equip and sate your thirst, but also to sate the thirst of those around you, to sate the thirst of the world. Um, You know, we need to, uh, if we've been reading the Beatitudes, the Beatitude before this was about our brokenness. And having recognised our brokenness, all we should do is want to be repaired and restored. And that's what Jesus promises us, to give us what we lack and to give it us every day. Um, and the world knows this, not only the world that we inhabit, but this world, this globe knows that this world is not correct. You know, it's not working as it should, is it? Uh, creation is desperate for God's righteousness. Romans 8, 19 to 25 says, For the anxious longing of creation awaits eagerly for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself also will be set free from its slavery to corruption into the freedom of the glory of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groans and suffers the pains of childbirth together until now. 
and not only this but also we ourselves having the first fruits of the spirit even we ourselves grown within ourselves waiting eagerly for our adoption as sons the redemption of our body for in hope we have been saved but hope that is not seen is not hope for who, for who hopes for what he already sees if we hope for what we do not see with perseverance we wait eagerly for it and so the the message of feeding on jesus is both for now and for the future we see this temporary satiation enough to survive on our daily bread and in the future a day when creation when all of mankind will stand before jesus and no longer will be hungry or thirst righteousness will reign and so what is our prayer how do we respond to this message well first that that question is what are you hungry for and what are you filling yourself with today when you're when you're in need of satiation do you run to the world or do you run to jesus remember hunger is natural and appetite can be trained how you feed your hungers is up to you are you feeding them the right way the lord's prayer always points us back to the answer remember uh, it says that uh, uh, our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread give us this day our daily bread it's i I've, i have to say I've, I've frequently read that and explained this as being the things we need for today and and that's true but it's not necessarily the food on our plates or the roofs over our heads it's the spiritual sustenance that we need to get through today it's the holy spirit filling indwelling us and being poured out for the world around us that is going to keep us going today and so make that your prayer holy spirit come fill me with your righteousness not only for my name's sake but for the world for the whole of creation for them will be sons of god and for them will be rewarded and their thirst and hunger will be sated have a great day god bless thank you matt for those uh, helpful words challenging words matt asked us what are you hungry for and today there is so much going on all around us that we need to just bring our hearts to jesus are you hungry for jesus do you run to jesus he asks us and so let's come to him now let's come to him with hungry open hearts ready to receive his touch upon us for this day so let's pray together our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today our daily bread lord we ask for that bread that will satisfy not just our material needs which you provide us with but our spiritual inner needs of the soul and lord we ask you to fill us today with your righteousness to satisfy our hunger and our thirst for you because we know that this world can't satisfy those deeper longings only you lord can satisfy our inner longings and so we ask today that you would fill us as we hunger and we thirst after you and your righteousness and lord as we bring our own needs to you and as we seek that you might satisfy our needs we want to bring the needs of others to you as well that you might satisfy their needs whatever those needs may be and today we want to particularly pray for those who are lonely those who are shut in those who are elderly those who are isolating or shielding 
because of the current pandemic. We ask, Lord, that you would draw near to each of those and that, Lord, you would satisfy their deeper needs today, that you would protect, that you would provide. And, Lord, as we think of the coming weekend, we thank you for giving us opportunities to rest and be refreshed. And so we pray for that over these coming uh, days of the weekend, that we'd also be productive in uh, what we do. We pray for the services that will go out from our three congregations on Sunday. We pray for Barnstable, we pray for Torrington, we pray for Biddeford. And we ask, Lord, that many people will be touched and changed through the ministry of your word uh, this coming weekend. We pray that people might come to find you and to follow you for the first time. And so, Lord, we commit ourselves to you. We bring you again our hearts. We, if we're wise of heart, will receive your commandments. And so we receive uh, your word to us today. We ask that it might take root in our hearts, that it might dwell there richly, and that it might produce fruit for your glory. And so go with us through the course of this day. Fill us with your spirit to overflowing, that we might bless others too. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we thank you for joining us uh, today. We uh, are not here for daily devotions tomorrow or Sunday, but back on Monday. And remember, on Sunday, uh, if you're not used to joining us, you're welcome to come and join us. Uh, either in uh, Biddeford or Barnstable at 10 a.m. or in Torrington at 10.30 a.m. for our Sunday service. Uh, hope God blesses you today and that all goes well. Lovely to have you and trust that you have a good day. God bless and bye-bye.